Enabling resizable bar is pretty simple, and today I'm going to show you how to do it for an NVIDIA graphics card. There are some requirements. The first is that you have an Intel 10th series or above CPU. There is a way to get it working unofficially with older CPUs, which I will mention soon. And for AMD, you must have a BIOS update on a 300 series motherboard. So for example, an X370 or B350 motherboard will need an update, otherwise 400, 500 and above series should work although in my case even my b550 board needed an update so keep that in mind generally for ryzen cpus it's supposed to be for ryzen 3000 and above so 2000 and 1000 series are not officially supported but i have seen some people online running ryzen 2600s with rebar on with the bios update so you can give it a shot and follow along if you want to there is also a bios mod which i will link below at your own discretion if you want to try to and figure out how to use rebar on your unsupported cpu such as an action intel cpu or an unsupported amd one for the graphics card as well, you must have an RTX 30 series or above graphics card. The other requirement is that your Windows boot drive needs to be GPT, not MBR, which is the format for Windows. Rebar is supposed to use UEFI to boot and hence you do need to check this. To check that you have a GPT formatted Windows drive, click on the Windows Start icon and type in Disk Management. Once you're here, you can click on Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions and just click Enter. The Disk Management window should open and will take a second to load up. Once it has, find your boot drive for Windows. In my case, it is the C drive. My C drive is on the Disk 3, so I right click Disk 3 and then click properties. Next click volumes and then partition style. It should say GUID partition table or GPT. This is exactly what you want. If it's not and you still want to enable rebuy, you should back up all your information and data that you need reinstall and format Windows as a GPT drive, or you can use an online guide to convert your drive to GPT. If you have all of those requirements, it's time to head to your BIOS. To enter the BIOS, click the Windows Start icon and hold the Shift key on your keyboard and click Restart. Once it loads up, click Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and then you should see an option for UEFI firmware settings. Click on that. Once you've done that, your computer should restart and load straight into the BIOS. The other way to do this is to just click the restart button and press the BIOS key when your PC restarts, which in my case is delete to enter the BIOS. It should tell you what key on screen to press to enter the BIOS. Just a quick heads up, to enable rebar on your BIOS, you may have to search it up on Google on specifically where it's located, but generally it should be located under something that says PCI, chipset configuration, or peripherals, or something along the lines of that. The first step you need to take is to disable CSM, and this is generally under the boot tab of most BIOSes. Where it says CSM, you need to disable it, and this basically disables the legacy BIOS, which is why you need a GPT formatted Windows drive instead of MBR, otherwise your Windows won't be booted into. I am using a Gigabyte BIOS, so after I've disabled CSM, to enable rebar, I click on advanced, then settings, next I click IO ports, then I enable 4G decoding and set resize bar support to auto or on if there's an option available for that. On some motherboards, you may need to enable 4G decoding in the first place to see rebar as an option. On my MSI motherboard, the rebar option was located under settings, advanced, PCIe, PCI subsystem settings. On my ASUS motherboard, it was under advanced, under PCI sub settings and you can see it on the top right as well. Again, you might have to search for your motherboard to find where the exact setting is located. After this, you'll want to save and exit the BIOS. I do encourage you to benchmark your PC to see if there's a difference just before you turn NVIDIA Profile Inspector on, just to see if there's any issues for when you actually turn it on. To verify that your rebar has been turned on, Search up NVIDIA Control Panel, or you can right click your desktop and click NVIDIA Control Panel. Once NVIDIA Control Panel has opened, in the top right hand panel, select Help. 
then click system information. System information will open up and you can see resizable bar as ticked as yes. The other way you can check this is if you use GPU-Z, linked in the description if you want to install it. So if you open up GPU-Z, then click advanced, and then use the drop down menu, you can select PCIe resizable bar. If it says enabled and the rest says yes, then you're all good to go. Rebuy is enabled on your system to be activated in the NVIDIA profile inspector. If it doesn't say yes and it says no instead, it could mean that you don't have a compatible system or that you might need to update your BIOS for it. On my Gigabyte B550 Aorus Master, I had Rebuy enabled on the BIOS, but it didn't show as enabled in Windows on NVIDIA Control Panel or GPU-Z, so I had to update my BIOS for it to actually work properly. To actually turn Resizable Bar on, you will need to download the NVIDIA Profile Inspector, linked in the description. Just download the zip of the latest version. Once extracted, open it up and make sure your profile is set to Global Drive Profile. Scroll down to 5 being common and you can see the rebar feature listed as here. What you want to do is you want to turn it on to enabled. For our bar options, you want to go with the one ending in 001. This one for me says Returnal or Red Dead Redemption 2 0x01. So I've clicked from the drop down and click that one. For our bar size limit, you want to click the option that says 0x04. In my case, that says Red Dead Redemption 2. For some people, you might not have the option for R bar enabled here. It might just not say anything or just be grayed out. If that's in the case for you, scroll down right to the bottom where it says Other and find the options that correspond to the options before. So for example, the 0x01 option is equal to 0x0 f 0 0 b a and the other option for 0 x 0 f o b b is equal to 0 x 0 1. Now the last one should be 0 x 0 f 0 0 f f which is equal to 0 x 0 4. Now I'll put this on screen as well so it's just less confusing but do keep it in mind if you don't have it enabled above you can enable it below under the unknown settings tab. Once you've finished all of that click apply changes and you should be all good to go. Just a quick side note, you can also individually disable rebar for individual games by clicking the profile selector and clicking the game of your choice. So for example, let's say I don't want it on League of Legends. So we just search up League of Legends and I don't want the client. I click on the actual game. I scroll down into rebar and I click here and I click disabled and then I just click apply changes and it's disabled for that particular game. For some games you might actually have problems where rebar is just not that great. So yeah, you can also disable it for individual games if you're finding that that game isn't doing too well. Now you should be good to go. Please let me know if there are any improvements or decrease in performance with your specs. I'm really interested in finding this out for myself. Average FPS and 1% lows had about a 7% improvement across the 12 games that I benchmarked. So check out the video if you haven't already. That about sums up this video. Make sure you go and check out YSTech.org for some more awesome content. But other than that, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!